So I've been having people tell me that the M13B is busted. So I'm going to go ahead and try it out today. And while we're testing this out, I'm be getting the camos for it as well. We don't got to do a whole lot for it. Just the 250 kills, which is standard. We're going to need 250 hip fire kills. We need 10 kills within five seconds and then 50 mercenary kills. But the reason why this gun has been so good is because it's got like the AR damage. It does the same amount of damage as AR and it has a very fast fire rate. Almost faster than a lot of the SMGs out there. If we want to get this pack a punch or anything, I need to go grab my tombstone because I got all my money sitting in there. And just in case you haven't seen yet, these zombies got little Christmas decorations on them. Some got little hats with lights, other ones with wreaths. And the M13B slays them all just the same. No pun intended. And I have no idea how this gun's going to do, but if it ends up being pretty nice and you want to see what attachments I'm using, I'm going to throw my build up on screen right here. And we're at our tombstone. I love tombstone in this game, by the way. It's so nice. It's such an upgrade over like Cold War's tombstone. Well, Honestly, could use a tombstone shadow in this game. Tombstone shadow would be sick. But before we go and pack a punch this, I want to see what the base ammo is looking like here. So we get 60 rounds in the mag. That's the highest mag you can throw on here. And 540 rounds reserved. How much do we have when it's pack a punched? 120 rounds in the mag and 900 reserved. That's pretty good. I'll take that. That's got to be one of the highest reserve ammo counts in the game. I can't think of any other weapon that holds more ammo than that. Because even with like the PDSW that holds 400 bullets, it only has 400 reserve. So it's basically only two mags. This is... I'm not going to do the math. Y'all can do that, but more than two. Let's go do a spore contract so we can get some of these camos done and see how it does against some tier two zombies. All right, here's our first tier two zombie. It's a little light armored and it goes down easily. Oh, and the Hellhound's got reindeer antlers. That's fun. I'm pretty sure the mega abominations from those promo pictures, they were wearing Santa hats too. We'll have to go fight one of those later. Oh, and a disciple. A disciple looking very festive. Also about to look very dead. I want a mangler. You're looking very dapper as well. And dead. This thing fucking tears. But now we got to really try to focus in here on getting our hip fire kills and our kills within 10 seconds. And I'm pretty sure those are just slaughter metals. Now, once you get those done, we can do a little mercenary hunting just to get our last camo. And then we'll go see what's going on with the mega abomination. There's no way we're not at our kills rapidly by now. I've reached the point where my patience is wearing off. And I'm going to start bitching until the camo shows up. Oh, there it is. See? Oh, wait, no, that's only 250 kills. Well, it's, it slightly worked. It worked a little bit. There's 250 hip fire kills. And there's our 10 kills in five seconds. All right. Let's end this contract. Go find some mercs. And then we'll go get pack three. And look at this loot from a tier two contract. A large backpack, a schematic, a cashmere. Damn, maybe they buffed the loot for the holidays. I mean, I don't need most of it, but I appreciate the offer. Like, actually, though, most of the time when I'm saying that, I'm sarcastic. So far, the only downside I'm seeing to this gun is that I have to go kill mercenaries in this zombie game. But we should be able to take them out pretty quickly. Knock on wood. That's one camp cleared, but we're going to need to do a few more. Or we can get a stronghold key card. But I don't want to drop any of this. Fuck it. I can always buy another self-revive. Knock, knock, cocksuckers. I need kills. Yeah, send in reinforcements. Oh, shit. But not reinforcements with riot shields. Any other kind. This guy's an asshole. Oof. Really got that. And that still wasn't enough mercenary kills. Lame. That's another camp down. Still not done. Damn, dude. I have to take out a whole army with this gun. Damn, another fucking camp cleared and that's not it? Show me my camo, please. There it is, finally. I'm not even doing this, Stronghold. Fuck you. Duck and leave your doors unlocked. I'm out of here. Let's make it to tier three. There's Pack-A-Punch three. Now we just need to find a Mega Abomination, but I'm gonna go grab some perks and hopefully the doghouse is still there. That way we can have a little distraction and keep the zombies away from me while I'm fighting the Mega Bomb. Oh, the doghouse is still here. Let's go. Come on out, pup. What we got? Nuzzle buttons? Welcome to the squad. Now kill. I'm not seeing any mega abominations. Like people have already cleared out this whole area. There's no bounty contracts to pick up either. Any abominations want to spawn over here? Nope. What about over here? Also doesn't look like it. Finally, we found one. Let me get a good look at you. Look how handsome he is. Not your ass. He's got all of his little Santa hats on. I think even his little, his little nut buddies, his little... Ball sack crawlers got hats on too. I'm going to need to shoot those hats off of you, pal. How much damage are we doing right off the bat? Not a whole lot right into his asshole, but maybe if you would face me. Oh, he's trying to get to my dog, which is behind the car. Okay, to the face. It's doing a little bit. It's also doing a lot back. And now he's emoting on me. Oh, wait, we can get a better look at his little nut buddies. That's pretty cool. 
They're like his little elves. Oh, and the dog revived me. I completely forgot about that. That's hype. As long as uh, this mega abomination don't kill the dog, we'll be all right. There we go. Open your fucking mouth. Broke one. He's weak on me. I think our, our dog might have already died. Rip broski. Oh, wait. No, he's over there getting lasered. He's putting in work. You're supposed to be fighting the zombies, though. Not the mega abomination, dog. Bro's a little confused, but he's got the right spirit. He's just getting fucked up. Leave him alone. Oh, he is pissed at the dog. I think he might have just killed them. He just curb stomped them. All right, well, better the, the dog than us, I guess. He took a fucking beating, too. The abomination was after him for a minute. Damn it, dude. Why don't you zombies fuck off? Leave me the hell alone. We got our abomination here to half health. I am struggling to do more. All these zombies are beating my ass. Let me uh, buy a few self revives just for a little insurance. Don't you laser me, you big bitch. Oh, you can definitely hit through this car. That's fucked up. That's so fucked up. Woo! Come on, we can talk this out. As long as uh, the talking we're doing is you just eating my bullets and falling over and dying. Oh, not again. I'm still somehow surviving it. No way. All right, let's keep this in a 1v1. There's no zombies around. There don't need to be any. Unless they're coming to deliver me ammo. They seem to be fucking running out of it. Wish I could buy ammo at the buy station. Yeah, go ahead and yell. Perfect. Beautiful. He's almost dead. Just a little bit more, buddy. I'll end your suffering. And in case you're wondering, when he loses his heads, he also loses his hat. The hats are gone. But so is all my ammo. Okay, don't you go anywhere. I'm be so pissed if he despawns when I go get ammo. Actually, I have a claymore right here. Let's see if I can kill this one zombie with it. And it'll drop me some ammo. Actually, there's a few zombies. Let me train these guys up. All right, no, we got ammo on the ground. Oh, shit. Damn it, dude. Just fucking die. Why don't you just fucking die already? And now we can do the Claymore method. I don't think I got anybody. And I think my brain rot just killed them. That's fucking disappointing. I want to do it myself. And brain rot's fucking useless. Can't even kill a zombie to drop me any ammo. Lame. Well, it, it can definitely take down a mega abomination. Just maybe not as fast as some of the other meta weapons we've seen. And might need to reload it a few times to take down the mega abomination, which is actually saying a lot, considering how much ammo this thing can hold. I guess the only thing we have left to do now is exfil. That way we can get our golden, not enigma. What the hell is the MW2 gold called? Golden ivory. Took me a second. Oh, and somebody already called in the x -fill. How convenient. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. And that should be gold. I think I just heard it unlock. Yep, right there. Maybe I was hearing things. Oh yeah, looks like we got it. All right, let's hop in game and see what it looks like there. Well, this is what our M13B looks like in game with gold and ivory on it. And honestly, it looks really good. And overall, the gun was was pretty decent. Maybe not against the Mega Abomination, but all their zombies were just getting torn down with it. So maybe the M13B is an insanely OP bars, but it is pretty good. You can take out a lot of normal zombies, a lot of just normal elites with it pretty easily. The Mega Abominations, on the other hand, take a little bit to take down. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.